Greetings fellow humans, tis I, Local Cryptid. Welcome to my channel. First off, and most importantly, do you like my shirt? Cloth Dirty Dancing! Love this shirt. Give me like 10 likes for the shirt. It seems every so often we have a spike of people quitting Destiny 2. Most notably, recently a swathe of the PvP community have decided to just kind of abandon ship, which has of course led to a lot of I'm quitting Destiny videos over the course of the past year. So we're going to watch them and we're going to figure out why it is people are quitting this delightful game of ours. It's going to get pretty salty in here soon. All right then, let's ruin my YouTube career by alienating alienating every other content creator on the site. Cool. Let's start with Hush. I've officially decided that it's time for me to take a break from Destiny 2. If Destiny is a bad game, no, I've never once thought that. It's just that the content that they're releasing, it really isn't interesting to me anymore. Now, I've already watched Hush's video, so this isn't really a fair reaction, but he's all like, you know, the game's just not interesting to me in its current state. I just need to take a break. I can respect that. He makes it very personable. He's not like, oh, Bungie ruined the game and they've betrayed me. Oh, woe is me. He's just like, I'm not having fun. I think what I'm experiencing here is franchise fatigue. Destiny has been a huge part of my day-to-day -day life now for over six years. That's a fair point. This game has been around for a while now. I think maybe we are all just getting a little bit tired of it. I mean, I'm not. I'm still having a great time, but that's just me. God, I've been playing this game for five years. This one video game for five years. That's a terrifying prospect. I don't think I've had a relationship that lasted five years. Let's not unpack that right now. I do have a second channel. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing with it, but uh, I will put the link to it um, in the video description. And plugs the second channel, of course, because the algorithm doesn't like it when you start making content about something else. Trust me. I know. So even if Bungie came forward and announced that they're focusing on PvP and that they're creating new content for it, we probably wouldn't get that until like the fall or even next year. That's a fair point as well. I mean, with the way development cycles are working right now and with everyone working at home, it's we always know that whenever they talk about big changes coming to the game, it's two, three seasons down the line. But they were already talking about changes to the reward structure, even in the start in the middle of this year. So hopefully we'll see some of these changes coming pretty soon. It's not like I woke up one morning and I grabbed my pitchfork, I lit it on fire and I flew straight to Luke Smith's house and, you know, I demanded... It's going to bother me if I don't say it. You don't light a pitchfork on fire, although that would be cool. So maybe we should change it to that. I'm okay. You've so you sold me on the... Flaming pitchfork. But I've been here uh, for over six years, uh, so my opinions and my views, they will be different. Things that are new and fun to you is unfortunately just recycled content to me. I really thought I was going to get like aggressively like, counter salty about people being salty about the game, but Hush is just like, he's already put me in a good mood. He's got a level opinion of what's going on in the game and it's hard to disagree with him. He's done the work. He's been around for a while. I think I, I I empathize. Even if I don't agree, I empathize. If Bungie doesn't want to make PvP content anymore, then just tell us. The silence is honestly awful. I'd rather hear that news than spend my time waiting around. Okay, so let, let's cover this because no one's saying, no one's really ever said Bungie are going to stop making PvP content. I think I'd be the first to leave, to be totally honest. It's the PvP that really drags me back into it every season. I'm not going to make excuses, but I feel like there are so many barriers to leveling out the PvP experience. It took a while for the anti-cheat thing to really take hold. That's still a work in progress. Balancing issues. I think the, the sandbox is really in probably one of the most balanced spots it's been. I know we talk about stasis ruin PvP. It's not. It's a lie. Just deal with that. They are slowly making progress. I'll give you this. It's slow and it's frustrating and I feel you and I totally understand. Even I feel the fatigue sometimes. I took like two seasons off over the summer or something. I get it. I get it. Let's move on. This one is from Incense, who is not a creator I really know a lot about. And this one's actually from back in August. It'd be interesting to see someone who's more in my position, see what they kind of think about it. I realize it's an older video and it's maybe not as relevant, but hey, let's have a look. First thing is that I am going to be quitting with Destiny 2 uh, until the foreseeable future. Something, you know, and I know you're probably thinking, well, this fucking, you know, it's connection-based matchmaking. How can it not be fucking fun? It's just not fun for me at all. I don't know. It's just, it, it, I think skill-based actually kind of takes the fun out of PvP because I... Did I miss something in the middle there? 
I loved getting into them games where it was gonna be sweaty all the time and you actually had to put in a bit of effort, like to, you know. If what you want is skill-based matchmaking, I have a recommendation for you. It's called Survival. Play the competitive playlist. Play this skill-based playlist. Join us. We're sweaty app. I don't care about Katie. I don't care about Flawlesses. I, I just, you know, play trials for the fun of it. So you don't care about your KD, you don't care about your stats, you got a bugbear by playing connection-based game modes as opposed to skill-based ones. Am I understanding that correctly? Doing a little disconnect here. Obviously PvE, I know there's a lot of PvE content in the game. It's, I'm not I'm not a raider, I've never raided on this game, I've never completed a full raid on this game. A really weird contrast because in Destiny 1 I literally raided every single week. Well, if you're not willing to try any other content, in the game if you really enjoyed raiding that much in d1 d2 raids are just as fun like i don't it's just, this game is just not at the moment i think it's really stale you know i'm doing the same things every week to where it's actually come to a point where i don't need to do anything anymore i don't need okay so you're doing the same things every week and it's feeling stale to you but you just said you're not playing pve you're not playing raids there's a lot of stuff to do just do something else if you feel like the game is stale but you're only experiencing like 30 percent of the content that might be why no i'm just i'm not loving the game at the moment it's it's boring I, i'm gonna be out straight it's just a boring game it's not fun and it's just boring i'm getting that it's boring i, I i'm kind of i'm trying not to dunk on this guy because I feel like he's not explaining himself very well. My one gripe about him is that he's just like, I, I'm not playing PvE either. I'm only playing PvP. And it's like, well, you're missing out on more than half of the game. Do something else, you know? I get it. I get that franchise on Wii that comes up. I think it's really the, the commonality between the videos so far is that there, a lot of it's just franchise critique. A lot of people are just kind of like, there's a loop to this content. And I've been experiencing that same loop for like, Six years. I'm kind of ready for something different. I'm wondering if that's going to be a theme that carries on with the rest of these videos. So let's move on. Next up, we've got Mr. Noble. There are a lot of reasons why I don't play Destiny 2 anymore. I could go over a lot. I could go over the PvE, the PvP. I'd like you to make a point at some point within the next 30 seconds or I might have to click off. But I won't waste your time. I'm not holding out much hope. I could even say one of the reasons I stopped playing is because it's expensive. Well, that's not the reason I'm here. Not that expensive. Like 60 bucks for a year's worth of content. The real reason I stopped playing Destiny is because there is no community. Okay. What is this community focused on? This community is focused on strikes. Bounties. Especially bounties. Well, at least this is new. I love the look of this. Wait, what? That's not new? No, that's definitely new. I, I, I haven't seen that before. And your point caller. There is an alternative. An alternative to increase the community's cooperation and strength all at the same time. Would Halo or GTA have survived this long if it wasn't for community-generated content? So, there's not enough content in the game. The content in the game is dragged out of D1 and recycled your answer is to bring back griff ball that's your answer your answer is to lift something out of halo to fix it i'm hoping you can i'm hoping you can bring this back i'm hoping you can i'm hoping you can fix this mg made halo why don't they bring back all the stuff that they had before it made the he's lost me look i loved forge mode in halo i loved all the stuff that came out of it it was a lot of fun spent hours doing it every week none of it was triple a size content first off he says, yeah, there's loads of content. There's PvE strikes, there's stuff. Uh, there's Iron Banner, there's Trials, there's Crucible, there's all that sort of stuff. There's plenty of content. And then he says, there's no content because we keep dragging it out of deep one. How do we fix this? We drag a mode out of Halo. Let's sum up. This guy, this is not the guy. A forge mode worked in a game like Halo because the repeatable function of it was multiplayer. We were supposed to go and play whatever playlist over and over and over again. It was only PvP. Forge mode extended the life of that considerably. And I know that I I, I laughed about Griff Ball. Griff Ball was a lot of fun. And I like to think Griff Ball inspired Rift in D1 as well. It's just not the way. I disagree heartily. All right, here's someone with a bit more clout. This is Deicide's video from about a week ago. This is also one of the longest videos in this list. So this might take a minute. 
get comfortable. I quit. It's official, my friends. I quit Destiny 2. You will no longer see Destiny 2 content on this channel. The whole focus thing is really distracting. I might not, I might have to like look away while I listen to him. 60 seconds in, first ad break. Let's get that out of the way. It's all the way through the 31st of 2018, okay? I had a growth rate in 2019 by 68%. That's amazing, fantastic, you can't complain with that. Now, as we go over here to the watch time, you're gonna see once again, 58%, amazing. Can't complain, I love it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you a comparison of 2019 to 2020. I'm gonna get really mad in a second. I'm almost certain of it. Look at that, guys. I'm telling you, negative 51% from the year of 2019 all the way to currently a 2020, and that's just despicable, sickening, disgusting. Let me ask you this. Being a YouTuber myself, I understand the frustration, but being a viewer, your ears, I'm about to use some strong language. Why the fuck do I care about your analytics? What's happening with subscribers? I only gained 6,000 subscribers when last year I gained 21,000. Oh my God. I only gained 6,000 subscribers. I only got 12 presents. Last year I got 13. My wallet's too small to hold all my 50s and I can't buckle my gold plated shoes. Second hand break, less than five minutes. I'm gonna throw this out there. Just now, because you may not know this unless you're in the game. Social Blades, estimated monthly earnings and such, they're not always accurate. Take these figures and everything with a little bit of hesitancy. I have never ever lost negative subscribers in my entire life here on YouTube. It doesn't happen. It happens. Now, why is this the case? No promotion from the YouTube algorithm. Right. Let's put a pen in that. Once again, what are you going to see? Negative 100 subscribers terrible that never ever happens let's get some more context here what are the videos he's posting a couple of weapon reviews there's some beyond light exotic stuff movement tips talking a little bit sunsetting why the queen breaker needs special ammo you're incorrect so a lot of the content just looking at the content from the last couple of weeks ignoring these three videos it's just the regular old oh there's new content out let's have a look at some of the new weapons i think if one of these turned up in my search, I would not look at this video. I would not see that thumbnail and that title and click on that video. I do not buy subscribers and I do not buy views. I don't think you really needed to make that point. I'm also going to point out we are coming up to the eight minute mark. And we have our third mid roll ad. YouTube came out with Copa and Copa, they got sued by Copa, AKA the federal government and Bungie, or rather I should say YouTube had to pay out a massive, massive settlement in order to make sure that they were not targeting ads specifically towards children. The videos were no longer being promoted currently, like my newer ones that I was posting every single week and rather instead old content from literally over a year ago was getting promoted on the system. And nothing I can do about that. I couldn't control it except by deleting videos. Behold, the truth shall set you free. Views will spike when you release a new video. Yes, but older videos that are evergreen and searchable are always going to pull views as well, which is why you get those periods of growth. If you delete old videos, they're not pulling views anymore. No wonder the number of weekly views he's getting is going down. He's taking content out of the system. It's not being pushed to new viewers. When you no longer allow the system to promote old content, AKA content from a year ago, the only thing that's forced to promote is the current new content. Not true. Now this isn't because people aren't subscribing. It's because the system literally isn't promoting the channel to new people. I've even gotten comments from you guys down in the comment section below that videos, AKA are not getting notified to you. That simply shouldn't be happening. And it's complete lunacy. It's absolute. We're coming to 11 minutes, we have another ad break. I could make a whole video getting pissed off about this one video. Now, what's the only game that I cover? I cover only Destiny 2 content. And so with that game being covered, this is the gradual trend that we're seeing. This is correlation and not causation. This is literally a logical fallacy. Stretched out for 16 minutes. At one point, I actually had literally over 400 or maybe even 500 videos, but I deleted all of those to see if I could correct the system. You've shot yourself in the foot. I'm going to cover a lot of different things in this channel, even though it's not Destiny 2, it's still going to be FPS related. And that's going to be number one, Call of Duty, and number two, Valorant. 
So let's look at what actually happened to DSA its career. So Copa comes along, he deletes a whole bunch of content. A lot of people did it. I don't think it was particularly advisable, but a lot of people did it. Because of that, millions of views are removed from his channel, mailing millions of views worth of data. How many impressions was it getting per video? Where were those impressions coming from? What were the search terms? What were the tags backing them up? That's how an algorithm works. The algorithm pulls data from your viewership and seeks new viewers for your content based on their behavior as well as yours. If you're removing a whole ton of data from the system, it has less data to push you to new viewers. Hence, decreasing views, hence decreasing subscribers. The problem here is that when you've got many, many years worth of Destiny content and you start just playing other games that aren't Destiny, you're trying to create data in a completely different niche, which is going to make it even harder for your videos to be pushed out to new viewers and even less growth, hence compounding the issue. I would really be surprised if DSI is still making content to the same extent in six months. Either he's going to quit or he's going to come back to Destiny. I gave it six months. Let, let's regroup here. I understand the people whose logic is They've got franchise fatigue, they've been playing a long time, and they just don't feel like the game is in a state that interests them. I get that. Hush's video really summed up really well for me, and it's something I felt a lot, again, last year, where there just wasn't enough going on that interested me. The other chap's point about connection-based matchmaking being the issue that really stopped him from playing, like, play survival. It's all skill-based. Let's do it if that's what you want. And then arguing that you're going to get stomped in trials by teams that are much better than you. I think that was ill thought out, to be totally honest. Mr. Noble's point about the only thing that will save Destiny 2 is a forge mode and a file browser and theater mode. I understand your logic. I understand the whole point that you want more user generated content in the game, but that is not the kind of game this is. I think you're confusing the design philosophy of Destiny with what Bungie made with Halo. They're not the same. You know what? Halo 5 is still a solid game and infinite's coming out this year maybe you'd be happier over there as for deicide deicide made some poor business decisions i will be very surprised what kind of performance he's pulling off in the next six months but we gotta keep an eye on that let's let's say something positive to end this off destiny is a fun game and if you enjoy playing it you should continue to enjoy playing it if you don't enjoy playing it do something else with your time the game's in a weird place right now because of a lot of things. But I honestly think if we give it time and we give it space, it will improve. If you need to take a break from the game right now to let that happen, do it. There are so many good games out there right now that you could be playing. And I fully support your decision. I hope you give the game another chance at some point. I still really enjoy it. I still think it's a worthy use of my time. I understand that people will disagree. But I think a lot of the hot takes about what is going to fix this game are misguided at best. And people jumping ship because their content's not performing well, cry me or whatever, you know? All right, that's it. I'm done. No more salt. Thank you very much for watching. If you found what I said insightful or interesting, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button on your way out. And hey, if you think I'm talking crap, let me know in the comments as well. Let's keep this discussion going. If you want to see any more of my videos, the one on screen just now is the video that the YouTube algorithm seems to think you'll enjoy the most. So I would personally recommend that as well. And for more high concept space adventures, at least mostly in Destiny, hit the subscribe button. All right, I'm out. See you next time. And hey, thanks for hanging out.